So what are we going to do with all of these comments? Well, we're going to respond to them in a very uh, detailed process. And I want to go through the steps of that process for you now. Uh, Marissa and our outreach consulting team is going to record these comment letters and itemize comments into the working, a working matrix. We're going to take a look at that in just a second. And then um, because we are under the gun for the schedule, we're going to conduct a parallel process for reviewing these comments and developing responses. The technical team in particular will review the letters and identify technical comments and develop responses for those, while the ad hoc committee is busy also reviewing the letters and identifying policy comments and developing the responses. We've got several um, uh, uh, internal meetings set up whereby the technical team will resolve the recommended responses with the ad hoc committee and make sure that they uh, are reasonable with respect to the technical comments and then pull together the policy comments. And then if additions or revisions are required to the GSP, the technical team will make those as needed. Um, we are going to document our responses in the matrix, and the final matrix will be included in the GSP appendix. Specifically, the, the uh, GSP regulations require that the process whereby the GSAs have considered these public comments be documented. So this will provide that information in the GSP appendix, and we will have all of these 70 or so uh, comments itemized with response for each. Any substantive changes or edits to the GSP are certainly going to be reviewed by the TAC over the next couple of weeks as we begin to put all of this together. Um, if the comments are substantial and if there's a a lot of information and revisions that were put together, then it could be that we will uh, need to get together for a meeting rather than just um, a lot of circulation and discussion uh, via email, et cetera. And we are having a placeholder of January 4th as a date for that special TAC meeting if that's needed. So that's the overall process. And um, we're, uh, as you can tell, scrambling to get everything done uh, in time for the early January meeting. Um, I did want to show you the matrix just to give you a, a, some kind of an idea about what it looks like. Um, we have it color coded for responsibilities just to sort of help with the process. The purple um, are columns are what the outreach consultant is helping us with and that's simply logging in the information, identifying the details of the comment and, uh, and writing out the comment uh, in the matrix. Um, we're going to be uh, with the technical team in green. We're going to be providing our technical responses in that column. And then the GSAs and the ad hoc committee, uh, the GSA representatives and the ad hoc committee will be working with the TAC to get additional responses in the blue column. And then we're all going to uh, make sure that, that someone is handling the responses and, and appropriately with just some uh, initials there to make sure that we're all uh, looking at the same things. And then uh, the process continues. Today, of course, is the December 15th meeting with the joint boards. Uh, you, you will be inviting and receiving additional comments on the GSP in, in uh, just a little while here. Uh, the comment period does end today, but again, I want to assure that if uh, there are additional comments received after that, they won't be ignored. On January 4th, that's the placeholder date that we've identified for a tax special meeting if needed, if there are a lot of responses um, that we need to get as edits into the GSP. And then finally, January 6th, public hearing and adoption process. 